Hello and welcome to another Ableton Live native device tutorial. This is Jeff from Medium Academy, and today we're going to look at the utility device within Ableton. This is one of Ableton's simplest and most lightweight devices, but it is also one of the most useful. Let's get started. Utility provides a handful of functions, most of which are accessible elsewhere in Ableton's interface, but by using utility to control these functions, you gain an organizational advantage. It also contains a few functions that are only accessible within the utility device. Utility contains volume, panning, and muting controls within its collection of functions. And even though these controls are accessible within the track controls of your instrument, there are times when it's better to edit them within the utility device. For example, if you automate the volume of a track and then later decide that the entire track needs to be louder, you would have to redraw the entire automation to the appropriate volume. If you instead automate this parameter within the utility device, you can still use the track's volume slider to control the overall volume of the track without affecting the volume automations. This same concept applies for any panning or muting automation. Apart from those three controls, Utility provides a few other useful functions unique to this device. 